Fresh from the showcase here at Swiss Watch Expo, we have chosen one of my favorite pieces that we just got in. It's the Blanc Pond 50 Fathom Bathys Gaff in the ceramic model. Now, this particular model is my favorite because of a few reasons. One, the absolute color of it. It's just tuxedo black. That's what I've always referred to it as. There's two models of this. There's the three-hand non-chronograph version, and then there's the chronograph version. This happens to be the chronograph version. This is also on the sailcloth strap with the pin buckle. Now, interesting thing about the Blanc Pawn, the pin buckle is also ceramic. So everything about this watch that you see is ceramic. Now, one of the things that Blanc Pawn also uses that Omega uses is liquid metal. And that liquid metal is actually in the bezel of this watch. Each one of the hour indicators and minute indicators are drip with liquid metal inside of the original ceramic filling. It's a high polished center, but the knurled edge is more of a brushed satin ceramic, as are the sides of the case. So the sides of the case aren't shiny, only on the top of the lugs and on the chamfers on the edge of the lugs. That's interesting because only metal watches are typically seen that way. Usually when you see ceramic watches, they're polished all the way around in every facet. Another thing about this particular Blanc Pond that's also interesting are the sides of the case. You still have that striated satin finish, much like how Rolex does with their casings. It looks like it's punched out of a centerpiece of ceramic, or in Rolex case, a centerpiece of metal, whether it's precious metal or steel. So there's a lot of little details on the outside of the watch, but what you should be aware of is, is that Blanc Pond is more than just a few details on the outside of the watch. It's also the inside of the watch. Blanc Pawn decorates every single moving component inside their watch, regardless of whether you can see that item or not. That's something that draws me heavily to the Blanc Pawn. It's a beautiful movement. It is Blanc Pawn's manufacturer movement. Also, one of the most important things about this particular watch and Blanc Pawns in general, it depends on which model and series that you get, but if you're talking about the dive watches, they have a 120 hour power reserve. That's standard on all Blanc Pawn. 50 Fathoms and 50 Fathom Bathys Gaff. Some Villa Rays are like that as well. It depends, of course, on which model you have. But that's sort of Blanc Pond's claim to fame. They have a five hertz movement, which is a very fast beat movement. And for the chronograph is a leading industry uh, movement. And in fact, so much so that at one time, uh, Vacheron Constantin used the same internal movement that's in this watch. It's very popular. Blanc Pond makes a lot of movements. They make about 100,000 move, movements per year for all manufacturers, and only about 25 to 30,000 movements per year go into their own movement, in their own watches. And that's because Blanc Pond is a very limited series production piece across their entire production line. Only about 25 to 30,000 pieces per year, and sometimes as few as 20,000, so you're never quite sure from year to year just how many they've made because they just don't do that as much as other manufacturers. It's very, it's very hand and precision done. Now, a few other details about this watch. Each one of the hour indicators, of course, they have the Super Luminova and they glow very bright green. They pick up light very quickly and they glow for a long time. But when you look at the indicators here around the outside edge of the dial, you'll notice that they're trimmed in white gold. So you have the luminescence with the white gold ring. And so when you move the watch back and forth, you see a sparkle. It almost looks like diamonds because it actually has that, that shimmer to it, giving it sort of that elegance that the black watch normally doesn't have from other manufacturers, especially when you see them in DLC or PVD coating. Now, one of the other small details about this watch, which you won't pick up on right away, when you look at the hands, they do have an elongated rectangular pattern, but at the end of each one of the hands, there's a very small needle tip. Now, of course, because they're done in the black color, you don't see them against that black dial. It's just another finite detail that Blanc Pond puts into each one of their pieces, where if you're a big Blanc Pond fan, you'll start to look for those little small things that you don't see on other watch manufacturers. And again, I have to stress, this is my single favorite 
50 fathom because of all of the different characters of this watch. It just looks like a million dollars on your wrist. Not only can you wear it casually, but boy, if you dress this up with a tuxedo, it really looks great. It also comes with a NATO strap if you wanna get that as an option from Blanc Pawn. Now this watch was originally almost uh, $13,000 US. This watch right now is $11,990 and it does have the box and card. So this watch is essentially unworn, in unworn condition. You may think, wow, I thought Blanc Pond lose, loses value over time. It doesn't have the greatest secondary market value as other watches. That's absolutely not true in the case of this. A lot of people fear that the uh, ceramic on the model may break if you drop it. Well, that is true. It is a lot more delicate and ceramic just in general is more delicate when it takes an impact. But I can tell you that this is a very durable watch. It won't scratch. It'll leave marks, in fact, on other things that you may have. You don't want to wear it with your, your jewelry or your, your gold jewelry or bracelets or things like that because if it gets up against that ceramic, you're going to have damage to your jewelry <laughs> instead of the watch. So you want to make sure you keep them on different wrists. A lot of people these days like to wear bracelets behind the watch. Don't do that. Um, the crystal on this watch is the way that it's made it almost has a slight dome appearance to it, which gives it just that edge of elegance. It's got the anti-reflective coating, but also the sub-seconds hand for the watch glows in addition to the entire rest of the dial. So when you're looking at this watch at night, you notice a few extra little details. When you turn the back, the watch over to the back, you'll notice that, as I talked about, the fully decorated movement is just gorgeous. Everything is hand decorated and it, it's very time consuming. But the rotor in this watch, this weighted rotor is engraved of course with the Blanc Pond logo, but it's also white gold with a black antiquing. That's not something you see on very many watches. That's pretty much exclusive to the Blanc Pond. It's just an absolutely gorgeous watch. No matter how you look at the details from the side, it's not a very thick watch. It is a 43 millimeter, but because it's black and because of the way that the thinness and the way that the lugs are made, it doesn't feel that way. Now, of course, I'm wearing the larger uh, big brother to this, the 50 fathom chronograph, which is another favorite of mine with the sapphire crystal. You've seen me detail that in other videos. I'm gonna just put this particular watch on right now because I wanna show you just how it looks even on my large wrist. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's 300 meters water resistant, more than you're ever gonna see in any other uh, watch of this type with the clear case back other than Omega. The timekeeping is absolutely excellent. Blanc Pond has a long history of being a very durable watch in this particular uh, movement. It's easy to wind, it's easy to set. The chronograph is easy to use. It's got very specific pushers that have a very unique click to them. I can't say enough about this watch. It's absolutely beautiful. I've got to have one of these in my collection. I've been threatening for years to do it. Um, if you want to pick it up here from Swiss Watch Expo, give us a call because we have some really great Blanc Ponds, this 50 Fathom included. Also, we've got some other series in the Blanc Pond that you should be aware of, like the Trilogy. Swiss Watch Expo, ring the bell, subscribe. That way you'll know when we post new videos. And if you have any questions, give us a call here at Swiss Watch Expo.